What's up guys? We are definitely going to get the suspension and spindle mounted up 100% in this episode. So we're just finalizing these little lower double wishbone mounts to the chassis that we redesigned. And we can get this thing bolted up. Gonna give these a clean up now and weld them on the chassis. Oh yeah, scared the shit out of me, you bastard! <laughs> Holy! Got him! trying to achieve we are just fine-tuning it's bracket it's perfect so literally just gonna trim a bit off here we have to just notch these out because there's um, little ribs here in the chassis so we'll just trim them so it sits all flush so there's no big gaps and then I've got to try and weld from the opposite side it's got some more strength because I'm a bit nervous about this one. You know, I need a weld up here and I can't get in here. It's too bloody tight. Unless you can. Can you do it? Yeah, I'll do it, bro. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just jump out of the way. <laughs> jump. Get out of the <laughs> way, bro. Well, we're getting there slowly. This I'm doing the hard one first, but then this one, this one's going to be easier because obviously so flat. Yeah, open. room, so. Yeah, we're just fine tuning till we get it right. Like I said, I don't want to rush this shit. We'll try not to um, blow this one up. <laughs> Up on that. That, oh no. That's what my mum said. She goes, Josh, it's a shit. It's meant to be messy. We're still not fully in there. We're hitting on something. Something is stopping. Something is stopping. I think it's up in here. Over there, maybe. Yeah, I think it's actually. It's still this here. Gotta take some more off there. You can't Ooh. put something on the back of that. Aye. A bit of Nico or something. Mm. Paint a nico on the back and then push it in there and see where it's hitting. Mm, it's definitely, I think, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel a ridge there.
hot. Hot. All right, we are tacked up. Bottom, top of welded. Now it's time to bolt it up and then get the other side welded. I don't know why my camera keeps flickering. The settings, look. Look at Disco. I don't know how to fix it. I thought I did fix it, but sorry. It is a little bit of a struggle to get back on, but um, so we're gonna do the same. We're just gonna bolt this other. Lift it up here. We're gonna bolt this other one that we made to this arm first um, before we weld it because that's what we did up there, and that was really tight to get back in. Um, so yeah, we'll just bolt that up. That one's tacked. Be able to put a bolt on that, bolt in this, and tack it. Make sure everything's sweet before we weld it up for real. We're pretty close to that. Not accurate, but we're pretty close. The double wishbones is all bolted up. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, these are a little bit firm. Um, so that's like holding it there. It's not, boop, saggy. They're muni balls, they're a bit tight, new. So uh, yeah, it's gonna make things a little bit rigid for a while, but um, we're just gonna bolt a wheel up. Well, actually first, we need to make a fake shocky because putting a wheel on here is gonna bend all this anyway. The prototype so I want to make a mount for the fake shocky there to come down and some himes just a stiff bar like I said and once that's on then we can put the wheel on and this side is pretty well done double check some things make sure everything's sweet then we'll make this spindle for real um, and then we can get on to maybe making the track rod um, the track rod we might I don't know if it's gonna go on the rear if we'll put it on the rear or the front we'll uh, we'll figure that one out when we get to it but then we can finally do the other side but um, I don't think I'm gonna uh, do another episode on just the other side because I don't think you just want to see the same thing twice unless I made a mistake or something but um, yeah and then it'll be engine mounts and lining Getting all that done, so, so much work, but we're getting there. Oh, it wants an underwater shot. <laughs> hey! Five mil plate. Oh, ow. I just um, redesigned the spindle one, one more time. Final spindle. I think it's version five. I think we're up to. <laughs> Hopefully, it fits um, this way, so I don't have to cut them the other way. Oh, this might help, AJ. 
First rap? Yeah. I've made that mistake a few times. I find the earth always helps. <laughs> oh, I've got to change that water. It's gross. Look at it. You definitely can't drink oh. it anymore. Check it out. It's raw as, so just use my gasless to tack weld. Get all in there. Um, don't have a MIG welder, only got the TIG. But we are not TIG welding this, we are MIG welding this uh, spindle. So we might head over to me dad's and use his gas and his welding wire and all this stuff. All right guys, made it to dad's shed. Gonna put these on time lapse and we're gonna weld this spindle up. Moment of truth. All this hard work over the past few weeks to get these double wishbones made and on the car, and I'm about to actuate the suspension to see if it's all correct. So we hadn't been able to actuate it with the prototype spindle, but this is not. This is the real spindle. This is out of five mil plate. Um, still have to gusset it, obviously, like we were talking about, and, and uh, still do a lot more to this, uh, the actual real spindle, if you'd call it. Um, but the uni balls, like I said, they're a bit firm, like it's holding, it's holding all the weight. There's no jacks under here, so I've got our degree finder, and at the minute, at ride height, it's at zero. So um, yeah, let's let's get it moving. Now it's not going to travel that high, probably only going to get maybe 80 mil of travel, but so we start to get a positive camber right down there. But when we go back to our ride height, our ride height should be, our ride height should be at zero. Roughly there. So that's our ride height. And as we compress the suspension, we go up and we want to get a camber gain. 
as we go through the corner and as we go up probably two we're getting two degrees of camber gain so if we set the camber to like uh, one degree on the back we'll then have like three and a half degrees um, through a corner that makes sense so your wheel compresses and then angles up so when the car tilts then that tire is planted on the ground so that's really cool oh it's still firm but it's actuating oh. that's so cool <sighs> well guys I have come across a little speed bump and I know nothing about this and trial and error that's all I'm doing never done it before trying to find information about it or other people doing this and there's not really a lot on these track bars and stuff so I did do it on the front because the brakes are going to be on the back so this is this track bar here um, it's a little bit on an angle I took some spaces out to try and straighten it and get it level but we are still getting a lot of uh, toe gain uh, in and out so it's it's when you go up and down it is moving so the wheel will be like steering so as we as we go up you see it turn and then as you go down and then it toes in see so that is not what we want so I've got to go back to the drawing board and figure out I have seen a lot of them are on the back now that may have something to do with it there is a rule that you have to mount it in between these two points so that's what I did I set the laser up but I did it at the front but we're gonna have to do it at the back and I'm not sure if it's got to be dead center or if it's got to be I know the Lamborghinis were mounted beside that but we'll yeah that's a big bracket that's not going to be so we've got to mount something off here like we did and figure it out just maybe try and do some research and stuff um, not sure if anyone watching uh, knows or has done it or um, any of the geometry of a track bar to keep the rear wheels from gaining or uh, getting a negative toe reach out let me know thanks again if you've enjoyed this video please hit that bell notification like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video